well. She's pretty versatile. She's uh, obviously ran over five and a half at Churchill uh, this season already. So we know she's got speed and she, we know she can rate. She's probably one of them that she can turn it off and turn it on. And we just have to be a little bit more aggressive with her out the gate. And she seemed to get a nice pitch going around there. And we know, uh, you know, we know she's got the ability in the engine and that turn of gear. So we're in prime position. And uh, you no, know, as soon as I, you know, pulled the trigger, she uh, she delivered. Did you feel through the stretch you could hold off? Um, the one was trying to come back. It looked like. And yeah, I mean, like I said, she's got that good turn of gear that sort of can put horses into shock mode you know as soon as we turn into the stretch um but uh no we took uh brad brad cox's uh horse in there all seriously we knew he was going to go to the lead and you know it's it was a little bit tactical you know the field size was small and sometimes when they can get a little uh easy ride on the front end it can get a bit tactical but uh no it all worked out never usually goes to plan like that but uh no super Super pleased for Steve. You know he's done a great job with her, and you know she's uh, she's a real barn favorite. Tell us what you're telling us before we had the cameras rolling. What you're saying about your day hadn't gone maybe the way you'd wanted it. Yeah, to. I mean, it's uh, it sometimes works out like that. Uh, you know, you expect some horses, you know, to get a bit closer, and I was holding off on her to uh, get the job done. And I was just saying to you earlier that you know at least you can have some sort of revising confidence, knowing that you've got the animal underneath you and. You know, it just uplifts you going into the race, and especially when she gets the job done, it's even more pleasing. And she felt exactly like you expected her to feel. Like yeah, I mean, do you know what? She uh, she had a bit of a rough trip at Churchill last time in the stake. Uh, I probably wasn't aggressive enough as I should have been getting in a position, and she rated on me going into the first turn, got a little bump, and it just took her off her game. She came with a flying run at the end. I mean, she's she's all heart. And that's uh, that's the main thing. But uh, we got our day today, and you know, you'd say, you know, she was nearly two for two round here last year. So I think she likes it round here anyway. Just looking back at her form, the last time she ran at um, Ellis, which was in the the next stake in the series, she showed a little speed there. Yeah. So was that the game plan? This race didn't look like any horse that was a natural front runner. Yeah. Well, after that horse of Vaughn scratched at two other than Philly. And I, I said, I told Adam, I said, you got to watch, you know, Bridgeman you know, is on a nice horse for Brad and just don't let him steal it. Just keep her in your sights because if you let a horse like that get loose, it's going to be tough to catch her. But uh, no, he, he knew. I mean, he knew last time we got a little unlucky. I thought down the backside of the Mindrula, we had to kind of come from last and she ran a really big third. So I did run her back in three weeks, but she was doing good. And, you know, sometimes when these horses are doing good, you just got to run them, you know, so, yeah. You said that she's versatile. Yeah. Which, yeah, she yeah she'll that. do what you I mean. She came from last in the men's jewel to run third. And today, because it was a paceless race, you know, Adam, no, you know, you got to, you got to kind of, you know, you know, let the horse kind of stalk. She's been such a nice yeah. filly for you. Yeah. Won three stakes last year and always in the hunt. Yeah. No, the lows are great. They, you know, they, they're just they're, they're the greatest people I've ever trained for. They always do right by the, the, the horses they give me and just thankful for them. And, you know, we gave her a break one time and brought her back and uh, so no she's a hard knocker that always tries and just kind of grateful to have her and the idea would be to make, maybe make the next one the kentucky downs preview ladies turf which is a yeah. stepping stone to kentucky Downs. yeah i mean we were, we were excited about trying her kentucky downs we didn't get to do it last year uh got a couple of different reasons why but uh no definitely have that on our map and hopefully run back in this one but is it about four or five weeks or I think uh, it's a month. A, it's August, either the 7th or the 8th. Yeah, so it gives us almost a, a month, yeah. So, yeah, we're stabled here this year because of Churchill. So, no, we're you know, right in our backyard. And, no, we're excited. And she said the winning is second over this course. And hopefully we can uh, make the next one and hopefully go on to Kentucky Downs. Did you feel that she had this? I mean, were you feel she was sitting on a race like Yeah, this? it's always, you know, when, when you when you have a mare like her, a horse her, it always tries. You always kind of, you know that they're going to fire. You just hope everything goes right. And. You know, she's such a classy mare. She, you know, you ask her to go, like Adam says, and she gives you everything she's got. Uh, so, you know, you just hope nothing goes wrong and stumble or get in trouble or anything crazy. But no, she's just a, as honest as they come and just kind of grateful to have her.